Tomorrow, President Biden will see our storm damage for himself. This is some of what he will see from the air. Once he lands, he'll get a boots on the ground look at the destruction and offer more federal help. Already, more than 500 FEMA and other federal personnel have been deployed to support the response and the recovery effort. ABC 7 News reporter Amanda Del Castillo with a look tonight at the president's visit. On President Biden's itinerary, visits to hardest hit Capitola Village and Seacliff State Beach. Both are treasured Santa Cruz County destinations devastated in recent storms. Weeks of high surf, high winds and rain have changed the look of the beloved beach towns. There are generations of memories here and um, I know this is a very painful time for many people but um, there are memories to be made in the future. Bonnie Holly is the executive director for Friends of Santa Cruz State Parks. It's a nonprofit known for mobilizing the community after major disasters, now fundraising to support recovery in Aptos. Touring Thursday, the president will be accompanied by Governor Newsom in town to assess what additional federal support is needed. President Biden will meet with business owners and residents in Capitola, then visit with first responders, state and local officials at Seacliff State Beach. The president addressing the region Tuesday during the Warriors visit to the White House. And our heart is with all of the families, all the families in the communities that are hurting and all the brave and historic and heroic first responders. The president is expected to survey storm destruction in other areas via helicopter on his way to the coast. In Santa Clara County, Daryl Ray, the deputy director for the county's Office of Emergency Management, says help is on the way. During the parade of storms, parts of Gilroy suffered major flooding on the freeway and surrounding farmland. We're working with the Department of Agriculture here in the county uh, to identify and assess and then deliver resources to farmers uh, impacted in the South County. Ray says the county has suffered an estimated $27 million in storm damage, mostly to public infrastructure. And the county is sharing information on ways homeowners, small business owners and beyond can get the help they need. With the president's afternoon arrival at Moffett Field, he's in for an unobstructed view of the region's damage without rain in the forecast. Many say he'll also get a good look at how the community is coming together. That's kind of what it's all about in these catastrophic events. In the South Bay, I'm Amanda Del Castillo, ABC 7 News.